Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a slider with Swift and Xcode. Now the slider is actually going to be used to manipulate some audio that we use, so let's go ahead and get started. This tutorial is actually going to be a continuation of my using audio with Swift and Xcode tutorial. So you guys can follow along that tutorial or download the project files from my website if you want. So let's go ahead and double click on audio.xcode project. And we're going over to our main.storyboard. And we want to open up our right editor right over here. It should just be right up there in the right corner. And we want to add in a slider. So just go ahead, click and, dra click and drag your slider into your view like so. I'm going to actually put that right in the center. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger so you can edit a bit more finely inside of your application. All right, so now that that's done, so let's connect this slider that we just created with our viewcontroller.swift file. So let's go ahead, open up our assistant editor, and we want to right click or control click and drag from our slider, and we're going to make the connection type an action, I mean an outlet, sorry, it's going to be an outlet because we want to name this slider that we ha are creating. So we're going to say the name of this is slider. Pretty clever name, I know. All right, so now let's go down here and we want to add a function as well. And this function is going to be called anytime we want to edit, uh, like scroll through the audio that we are playing. And by the way, we are playing the background audio. So let I'll, I'll show you the audio in just a minute that we're trying to edit. So let's open up and we're gonna right click or control click and drag from our slider. And this is going to be a connection type of an action. And the name of this will just say change audio time. Change audio time. So it's going to change the audio time that we are using. So now if I were to build and run this, first of all, the slider would do nothing because we have nothing set up. But that right there is the audio that we are trying to manipulate in this sense. And also, just one more thing, this is more personal preference. I'm going to right click or control click and drag from our, my scroller, from my slider, and say center horizontally in container, and I'm going to center it vertically. You don't need to do that, I just like doing it. All right, now, first thing we want to do inside of this function that we created, I'm going to close out of my assistant editor. So in this change audio time function that we created, we want to say, background audio dot play. Now if you don't remember the background audio and is right up here and it's an AV audio player. So this and this basically harnesses all the commands that you could do for a normal audio player. So you can say background audio dot play. And then after that you can also say background audio dot current time and then we want to set the current time. Now you think it would be like oh the current time would equal slider dot value because that's how it works out in my head. If you were going to the main dot storyboard, uh, you click on your slider. Right now it says the current value is 0 0.5. So uh, by the way, this value right here is from 0 to 1. So this actually would mean seconds, 0 to 1 seconds. That's how long this slider is going. We will change that in just a minute. But right now, uh, the value that we are trying to grab is this current value. So the basic way to do that is go to our viewcontroller.swift, and you would think that that would work. We're just grabbing the slider dot value or the value at which uh, this bu button right here is placed at. But that is wrong. You actually need to convert this value into an e a time interval. So you can say n uh, background audio dot current time equals n s time interval interval and then open open parentheses and we're going to say slider dot sorry slider slider dot value like so so now we actually just converted this value into an ns time interval and then now this will actually change our uh, background audio and also this shouldn't be background audio dot play this should be background audio dot stop because we want this audio to stop, then we change the time, and then after that time is changed, we want it to play. So we can say background audio dot prepare to play, and then background audio dot play. So now, if we were to do this, you will notice that it's actually going to work. 
but but it will only edit within that one second and you can actually hear that so it's only starting it in that one second so let's change that right now so go to our view did load and we're going to say a slider dot maximum value is equal to ns time time interval and this is going to be our background audio dot duration so we're taking the duration of this and actually this shouldn't be ns time interval this should be a float value because a float value is just a more complicated integer value. It can get really, really deep into how long it is. So we needed to convert this value, the background audio dot duration, into a float value in order for this to work. Uh, go back to our view controller dot swift. And now if we were to actually build and run this, you will see that the maximum value, so this actually can scroll all the way to the end now. Within a one single line of code, we just did that. So now we want this to update uh, as it's playing. Right now, as you can see, nothing's really happening as it's playing. It's just standing still, but we can still edit uh, the time at which it is at. So let's change the value of the slider as we are go scrubbing through our music. So we can say func. So we're going to create a function, and this function will hold uh, basically what changes what changes as we update the value. So we can say function uh, audio, or we can say update, update slider. We'll just call it that. Function update slider. And inside of this function, or sorry, update slider, open parentheses, close parentheses. And inside of this function, we can easily just say slider. Keep typing like that. Okay, slider dot current I'm sorry slider dot value is equal to and we can say background audio dot current time and of course this needs to be actually transferred into a float value again or else this will not per work properly so now we're taking this slider value and we're gonna take this float and we're gonna go background audio dot current time and also just to be sure that this would be working just in case we get any errors we can also just add an ns log to be sure that this update slider is being called so we'll just say ns log hi so this will be called anytime this function is called now we're going to go up here to our viewed load and we're going to create a timer so we can just say var timer equals ns timer dot time scheduled timer with time interval and you want this one that says uh, time target selector and user info and repeats so the time at which we want to update this slider is 0 0.1 seconds now you can get more refined and say 0 0.01 seconds or anything like that but i'm going to stick at 0 0.1 seconds our target will be self our selector we're just going to make the selector right here and so just say selector with a capital S and then open parentheses, close parentheses, open quotation mark, close quotation mark inside of those parentheses. And then we would just want to take this name of the function and be sure it's spelled properly, be sure it's everything works properly. And then just paste that right inside of our selector that we have right there. User info, we're not gonna agree grabbing any user info, so you say nil and repeats true. So it will repeat over and over again. Now, uh, just a reminder, this target self, that just means it's calling, the target is going to be actually the view controller itself. That's all that means. Now let's go ahead, build and run. And now we should get this updating as we are going through our audio. Now, as you can see, it's updating. We have our audio playing and we can scrub through. We can pause it stop and that'll also reset this time and then you click play again and there you have it that's how you do a slider uh, use it with audio using swift with xcode so we hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful
That's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe down below. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a slider to control your media. I just stepped on a cactus.